Hey everybody, today I'm going to make something that uh, is going to be a very useful tool. I've already made one, and what this is is a brake pedal depressor. Uh, normally you can buy these online anywhere between $30 and $60. That's uh, not something I really wanted to spend, so I just looked at how they were made and went to the store and bought the parts I needed to make my own. Uh, what it basically is is a caulking gun. We all know how those work. And you replace the center rod with a much longer steel rod. Uh, the first one I made was three feet long. And the second one that I'm going to make today is going to be four feet long. But the, this, the process is, is exactly the same. It's uh, nothing more than the length that's different. Uh, the only parts you're going to need uh, to make this is a standard dripless caulking gun. You want one that has a solid rod. You do not want one that has um, a notched rod or a hexagonal rod. You only want a solid rod variety. They're normally the cheapest. Uh, this caulking gun was less than three dollars and when you look at the caulking guns you want to put you want to pull the, the rod back roughly about halfway and then press down on it. So, so press down on it with your thumb and then activate it so so ratchet it and what you're looking for is one that when you release the ratchet or the handle it will not go back a lot of them will a lot of them will will go forward two steps and back one you don't want one like that you want one that is not going to uh, allow the the rod to move backwards and this one uh, that I got at Lowe's the standard little green one less than three dollars this one blue I got at Home Depot I actually think they're pretty much identical. Uh, price almost the same, they just painted them a different color. But these work great because they do not retract at all. Uh, so if you find one of those, then you're going to need to get a quarter inch thick uh, steel rod. I would go with the four feet uh, long, 48 inch long variety. The first one I made, I made with a three foot long variety. and after making it, it was barely enough to uh, activate the brake pedal on a standard car. So a truck that might have a steering wheel farther away from the pedals, it, it wouldn't even work without a block underneath of it. So I'm making another one, so I'll have two. I'll have a four foot long and a three foot long variety. Um, other than that, you just need a little section of 5 16 inside diameter fuel line. You can get this at AutoZone for maybe a dollar a foot. Uh, and then you will need a standard U-bolt. I got a stainless steel one because they were on clearance, but you, you don't need to get this nice of one. You can just get a little uh, galvanized one. Uh, and the way this is constructed is you take the caulking gun and basically you pull the, you pull the rod out of it and then you take the section where the uh, tube, the caulking tube would sit and you're just taking a hacksaw and you're cutting this off flush. So you're going to be left with the handle and this rear part. Everything here forward is going to be removed. Um, and then after you remove that, you take your rod and in place of this, uh, of the uh, the rod that's already in there to push the caulking out. In, in place of that rod, you're going to insert the, the quarter inch rod because both rods are a quarter inch. So you'll get that in there. Um, and if you have a vise, it makes it easier because you can hold the, the rod in place while you do this. If you don't have a vise, it's not really a big deal. You can set it on a table and set something heavy on top of it so it won't move. But um, you've only got two hands. So this is a you know, it takes a little patience to get this done, but once you uh, get the rod inserted back in through the springs, uh, you'll be home free. Uh, once you have all that done, you're going to take the end of the rod and you're going to thread it. And you need a um, die in order to do that. And the die that I use is a quarter inch by 20 thread, I believe. I'll, later on in the video, I'll tell you exactly, but I believe that's what it is. And you're just going to thread the rod back uh, roughly about an inch, inch and a half. Uh, after you thread the rod back, you'll just 
put on a quarter inch nut all the way back until it stops where it hits the unthreaded part it will stop and then you're going to take the little end that is on the caulking gun rod itself that pushes the caulk out this little round end right here there's a nut holding this on uh, you'll take that end and you'll place it over the new threaded rod and then you'll take a small washer put over that and then a finally another quarter inch nut put over that and that will make the end that presses against your pedal the other side of the rod because uh, it will slide completely off of there uh, you need to put a bend in it and I guess you can see this it's a uh, I don't know roughly a 45 degree angle bend that you'll put in the end and what that will do is prevent this from sliding off so it'll hold your tool in place and you know, then you'll have it other than putting the u-bolt in this in this side here or either side the top side or bottom there were already holes there i had to drill them out just one hole just slightly bigger so the u-bolt would fit through it if you went with a smaller u-bolt you, you may not even have to drill it the uh, hole out any any larger but I got that one there. I didn't want the threads on the U-bolt to scratch the steering wheel, so that is where I slipped this uh, section of fuel hose over it. And it's on there nice and tight, so I don't have to worry about it coming off and it won't scratch up or dent the steering wheel or cut into it at all. Um, so just uh, hang tight and you'll see how this is made.